Hello YouTubers, this is Drew from Drew.Gaming, and today I have a Call of Duty Ghosts gun overview. So I'm gonna be over, I'm gonna be reviewing and kind of going over the basic specs of all the weapons in the assault, well all the real weapons in the assault rifle category, some of the submachine guns and some of the pistols. Now I'm not gonna be doing this in the for game results. I'm gonna be doing this for real life. So. I'm going to give you all the calibers and all the basic specs of the real-life guns. And, of course, I can't do all of them because some are fake because of how futuristic this new game is. Anyways, I would like to start with the Honey Badger since it's one of the most liked in the ca in the categories in all of the guns. So, I would like to start that it's not actually called just the Honey Badger. It's called the Advanced Armament Corporation Honey Badger Personal Defense Weapon. So, it's quite a long name. But I think it's, uh, it's a great gun. Now, this, I would like to start out, has the best caliber for an AR-15 possible. It's got a 300 blackout supersonic round. That sounds really gay, I know, but, like, it is really a silent round. It's very and all, very quiet. And also, it shoots at one of the highest velocities I've ever seen a gun shoot at. It shoots at 2,100 feet per second, which is very, very, very fast. Also... This gun has a built-in barrel suppressor, so unlike in this game, the suppressor's at the end. No, it's actually integrated into the barrel, so you won't see the suppressor on it in real life. It's kind of a bummer, but if you want a mock suppressor just for looks, go for it, but I'm not. I think it looks sick already, so. Anyways, it looks fairly similar to the one in the game, but anyways, let's go over the base, basic specs. So it's an AR-15 AR based PDW. 300 blackout, as I already said. That's the round, 0 .300. Um, the barrel length is 6 inches, which is not long because it's kind of a PDW-style AR-15, which is, means personal defense weapon. As place of origin is a United States of America, and it's a carbine. Uh, the next gun is called the AK-12, and some people said it wasn't real, but it actually is a real gun. So let's get into the specs right now. Um... So this is a derivative of the AK-47 assault rifle, uh, ma made by uh, Mikhail Kalashnikov company, the automatic Kalashnikov AK, you know, kind of resembles the AK. Anyways, it's uh, made for the Russian army, it's been in use for quite a while, well, not quite a while, for like three years, but anyway, it's the newest uh, gun in the AK line, so I think that's pretty interesting, maybe that's why they put it in the game. Anyways, uh, we're going to move on because there's not much to say about this. It is the signature AK round 762 by 39 which is very rare to find. Well, not that rare, but once you find them, they're pretty cheap. So, anyways, we're going to move on to the Beretta ARX-160. The Beretta ARX-160 originated in Italy because it's Beretta, obviously. They're... If you don't know, I'm just telling you guys. Anyways, it does not look too much like the actual ARX-160 in the game. It actually doesn't really look at all like it. The only similarities I see is the stock. It's got the general shape, but it is not that accurate in the game, which I'm kind of surprised that they didn't make it that that good. Anyways, so the Beretta is um, a very reputable brand. They make the M9 also. Um, this is chambered in the 5.56 NATO, so it's obviously... it's. It's good. Um, it was used in the war in Afghanistan. Sometimes it's used by our army. Um, variants are the 160 PDW and the ARX 100 and the ARX 100 SF, which is a, which is a more high quality version of the ARX. Anyway, this is basically bred as assault rifle. Each brand has their own, and this is kind of theirs. So, yeah, we're gonna move on to the next weapon. So the next weapon is the MSBS, and this originated in Poland, and it's by the Tuxnik Arms Factory. Um, there's not much to say about this weapon other than the fact that it's bullpup, and if you don't know what bullpup is, it means you can have a compact submachine gun uh, sized gun, but have a barrel as long as an assault rifle. And you're probably like, how is this? Um, basically, the magazine is behind the handguard, so you can have a compact weapon and like the magazine is almost into the stock which is not a bad thing so you just it and that's how long the barrel is the barrel is from that magazine all the way to the front of the gun so it allows you to have a very compact gun by by uh 
size, and then your barrel can still become very long for accuracy um, since the magazine is behind the bullpup sense. Um, it's actually it's a very good idea. I really am a big fan of this. Um, comes in 5.56 five, uh, NATO, just like almost every other gun. Um, it doesn't have to always be in um, uh, a bullpup, though. The magazine isn't always behind. And it is a fully automatic weapon. It's not three-round burst like in the game, but I'm sure you can. And it comes with a Magpul AFG grip style grip. Anyways... So yeah, I think the gun looks much like a PT, uh, looks, m looks much like a Masada uh, without the uh, bullpup, but with the bullpup, it looks more like a like a type type style weapon. Anyways, I'm gonna move on to the next gun. This is a six hour P226. So the six hour P226 um, has been held by the United States military since 1984 since uh, the U.S. Armed Forces. And this pistol is one of the most versatile pistols in the world. It's got a high capacity, 15 round capacity, unlike most guns. And this gun is just quite, quite the best, one of the best feeling guns in the world. Um, I've held one, I've shot, uh, I don't know if I've shot one, I think I have. Anyway, I don't really remember. But they're great in the game, but this is, it's not very accurate replication in the game, if I must say. Um, it it doesn't have as much kick in the game as it should. Um, it is a nine millimeter, so it does not have much much that much kick. But compared to some other pistols in the game, it should have much more kick than the other pistols, and I, that's why I think it's not a very accurate replication. But anyways, it is still a nice looking gun in the game and it's good looking gun or, and it's a good gun so um this is the gun used by our united states army rangers and by our united states navy seals however um the navy seals do have a choice of an m1911 or this but you know what they choose this over because it has has a higher capacity this gun is made in swiss in, not in Swiss, sorry, in Switzerland. I'm so stupid. Um, it's recoil op operated, so yeah. It comes in 22 long rifle, 357 SIG, 40 SW, and 9 mil parabellum. Well, um, I would want the 9 mil. And they actually do make a Navy Seal edition, which is kind of cool. It's got a little anchor in the slide. So that'd be cool if they made one in the game, like a Navy Seal edition for like an attachment or something. Anyways, we're moving on to the Remington R5, the gun that I'm actually using in this gameplay. And I'd like you to take some time to appreciate the gameplay anyways, even though this isn't about it. Um, I went like 50 and 2, so I think it's pretty good. So now under the Remington R5. This gun is probably the best looking gun I've ever seen in my life. It's an AR based weapon. It is not bullpup. Um, it comes in tan or black. looks way better in the dark earth tan. Um, it's got a unique style of rail system. You can you can put rails, and they have like long rectangular uh, like look to them. It's really cool. They have holes though in the rail uh, upper rail themselves. So you have a fully um, not loose rail system on the top. It comes with normal style M4 sights, but not just not the triangle sights. They're different, and they look quite good. Comes with a Magpul um, CTR stock, which is quite a comfortable stock. It's fully adjustable to six positions. It's got a Magpul MOE grip, and everything else is Remington, which is pretty cool. This is like a very big derivative from the ACR and the Remington R4. Now this gun isn't just called the Remington R5, it's called the Remington R5 RGP. It's a 5.56 or 7.62, whichever you want. Um, it's just the best looking gun. I'm putting a picture of this on the screen, so look out for that. The next gun is the MTAR. I think it's called the SV. Anyways, this gun is not actually called the MTAR, it's called the Tavor 21 or the TAR 21, whichever you prefer. I don't know if you remember in MW2, they called it the TAR-21, and it's actually not a, um, 
It's not a submachine gun. It is a uh, assault rifle in real life. Anyways, we're going to go on to this review. So, this is an Israeli gun. Um, it's made by the Israeli Bullpup Assault Rifle Association. I've never even heard of that. But whatever. Um, the 5.56x45 five, five, NATO, that's what it is, similar to a lot of other guns. Selective fire, um, which is kind of hard to find now on these Israeli guns, so that's pretty good. And since 2009, the military in Israel has been using it, and they actually started to make a micro Tavor, which is called the MTAR, but it's not out, so that's why I was saying it's not actually called that, but it is coming out. It's kind of, it's a funky looking gun, anyways. Um, the muzzle velocity is very low, so, but it's quite a good gun, so, it's a bullpup, by the way, as I was talking about earlier, so, I'm not gonna put a picture on the screen for this one, because I don't think it's all that good looking, and it looks exactly like the one in the game, so, anyways, on to the next gun. So the next gun is called the Vector CRB. Now in real life it is not at all called this. It's called the Chris Vector, not the Vector CRB. It's by the um, American manufa manufacturer Chris, and this is one of the most unique looking guns I have ever seen in my life. Um, definitely I might put a picture on it. Don't for know for sure, but it is a submachine gun. So it's been made. It was made in 2006, and it's been used by our military and some of our. Um, Secret Service and CIA Black Ops members um, since 2009. So it's really lightweight, six pounds, which is quite, quite, quite uh, light. Um, sometimes it's called the Chris Vector SVS. So you know, maybe that's what the, maybe that's why they called it the CR. I have no clue why they called it the CRB. Whatever. Anyways, 40 S&W, 45 ACP, or 9 by 19 millimeter parabellum, which is just 9 mil, and 45 ACP, which is so freaking rare to find in a fully automatic assault uh, submachine gun. So I've never seen that. That's why this makes this gun even more unique besides the look of it. I have never, ever seen a 45 ACP besides a pistol. So that's really, really, really unique. I've never really seen that in any other gun. So, I know I've said that a couple times, but it's very, very rare. So, on to the next gun. So, this is the last weapon I'm going to do for this um, video. And if you guys really like it, then you can press like. And if there's a lot of likes, then, or you could comment, and I'll do more of this. Um, just let me know, um, because if it, you found it really helpful, I'd love to do more. So I actually kind of enjoy doing all the research for this. Some of the guns I already knew, though. But anyways, we're going to move on to the next uh, gun. So the last gun I'm going to do is the M27 IAR. Um, so this really is not, um, this is not a light machine gun. I don't know why they made it a light machine gun. It's just a really long-barreled assault rifle. It, it's not heavy a machine gun. It's not it's not heavy at all. It's just it's exactly like uh, a 417 or a 416. It's, it's by Heckler and Koch, and it's a 556 five, assault rifle NATO round. So I don't know why they made it. It's really weird, but anyway, look at look at me stacking up kills with my dog. Man, this is ridiculous. By the way, I'm using the Remington R5, and it, I really recommend it. I think it's one of the best in the game. So we're getting off topic. So. This gun is sometimes used as a DMR, designated marksman rifle. Um, our army sometimes puts uh, IR scopes, infrared scopes, on it, and they put tripods and barrel extensions and stuff. And But the most used gun for that is the 417, which is, yeah, it's a really nice looking gun. But anyways, um, it's more like the, um, it's the full name of the M27 from Black Ops 2. So as you can see, it is an assault rifle. And it is, uh, it looks like the 416, so they kind of got the graphics off a little in this. Um, but you can adjust the sights and stuff as I'm looking at in this picture. Um, so yeah, I think it's a really nice looking gun. It's not an assault, it's not a, a heavy machine gun. Don't know why they made it. Um, but yeah, it's a long barrel assault rifle, and it's got a very, very long barrel. It's like the most long barrel I've ever seen besides the 417, which is same 
uh, it's from the same series. Yeah, so I think they should really put a 416. That's my favorite rifle. They should put a 416 in the CODs. But we're, I'm not going to be talking about this anymore. Um, I've said that for the past couple of years. All right, so I hope you guys really like this series. Comment for more if you really liked it.